we go. Spar Star Promotions is proud to present the rerounds of mixed martial arts in the lightweight division. This bout is sponsored in part by Eliminate and Mexi Goods. A sweet thing. Visit MexiGoods.com. Once again, this bout is referee Mike Beltran. And now, introducing to you first on my left, fighting out of the blue corner. He is wearing black trunks trimmed in white. He is training out of Checkmat and Rudum Training Center by way of London, England. He weighed in 154 pounds. Tonight, he is making his debut. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Junior E5 Fernandez. His opponent across the cage on my right, fighting out of the red corner. He is wearing white trunks. He is hailing out of Sacramento, California. He weighed in 145 pounds. His record, no wins with one loss. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Mike Medina. All right, fans, here we go. Three rounds of mixed martial arts in the lightweight division. Interesting. So, Fernandez, uh, coming from the UK, uh, it looked like he has previously fought out of Fight Zone London, which uh, my friend that uh, Andre Borges, who runs BGJ Heroes, the website, um, he used to teach there. So, oh, wow. could could be Andre's uh, old student. Um, won Purple Belt Worlds, the Gi World Championship, and it looks like 2021. Wow. Um, or 2020 is one of those. Could be a brown belt. 2021, belt. yep. Maybe even a black if it was three years ago. Yeah. So, I mean, that you've got to be a really good athlete and a really good grappler to win at purple belt. So, we'll see if that translates to MMA. Medina is coming out guns blazing. <laughs> He's throwing some. Yeah, just really throwing some punches here. Uh, a few of these connecting pretty well. Fernandez looks to be quite a bit taller at the very least. Nice knees to the body here. I'd like to see Fernandez get that. Ooh, that's a nice one. Fernandez did not like that one. Uh, he's going to get taken backwards if he doesn't let go of his head. Trying. Yo, oh, yes. Yeah, he was trying for that big hip toss with the headlock. But uh, nice, the broomstick takedown. This is the beginning of the end here, I have a feeling. You got someone at the level, the jiu-jitsu level of... Fernandez, Fernandez and yep. he's got almost a full two minutes to work from the back here. Probably going to switch off to a body triangle. Although Medina is doing a pretty good job fighting the hands right now. And again, with these thicker amateur MMA gloves, it's, it's harder to get under the neck for a rear naked choke. Although he's, he's about halfway there. There's that body triangle. Yeah, beautifully sunk in there. Looks like he's switching off to an arm lock. See how he's figure four in that arm. Gave it up. And here comes some ground and pound. Medina's going to want to stand up here if he can. And Mike does not have any quit in him, though. I like this going for that uh, power half to try to break Mike down. I don't think it's legal um, to crank on the... Well, it's definitely not legal to crank on the neck. So yeah, the, to watch it. Uh, they're, yeah, they're using that power half just to, to break Turtle down. Right. Um, uh, and if they're trying to posture. Here comes an arm lock. Oh, there you go. Both legs that's over. Gonna, that's going to do Extending it. Extending that arm and hipping in. This one is, just looks done right here, oh, but Mike is not tapping. Oh, my goodness. Oh, and this is terrible. Look at the hyperextension of that arm, and Mike's just letting it go. Wow, how tough is Medina? Oh. He's able to turn the shoulders, though. This is buying him a little bit of room, but that arm is in a terrible way. What the heck is going on? Is that is he it broken or not? I mean, oh, it's <laughs> that's hard for me to even watch. Oh. This is probably the, clo the one of the gnarliest arms. Well, now legs. now his shoulders are actually turning away. That's really bad. So if if uh, Fernandez can extend this from here, oh, and this sometimes it gets oh. worse when you stand up. And he's trying to go belly down with it for the finish. Yeah, that elbow is it out though? I it's almost. Wow. And that's going to be the end of the round. Mike survives. That, oh, that, that arm might be done, though. That's got to be the, 
probably the nastiest arm bar that didn't result in a finish that I've seen in camo. And coming from somebody of Fernandez's pedigree, I have to think that that arm bar was probably fairly on. Well, we, could, um, we could see it. It, it, it looked like it looked like Ronda Rousey versus Misha Tate. Yeah, the elbow. It, it looked like it was breaking. It, it, it was, did. It, it looked like it was rotating. Full hyperextending. Um, the one thing Mike did have going for him is that he was able to turn his shoulders, um, which, funny enough, was something that um, that uh, um, Vinny Magalish did against Verdum in uh, ADCC uh, in a full-blown armbar. I remember that. It looked terrible, but because of the shoulder position. Look, I mean, right there, that's, oh. looks, to me, I, I would think the referee would stop it. Typically, they would. It looks pretty bad, honestly. And hats off to Beltran for letting it go because most referees would have stopped the fight right there. I'm not sure what else Oof. Yeah. Fernandez could have done. I mean, We'll see how much he uses that arm. In, in round number two. It's wow. His, it's his left arm, right? Yeah. Right? Was it? <laughs> now I, I, I believe it was the left arm. Oh, yeah. He's just holding it at his waist. <laughs> he's throwing. Oh, he threw the left right there. Wow. Great takedown. Oh, now he's going nice to terrorize the other arm. <laughs> He's looking for. He's looking to lock up, lock up a Kimura here. Yeah. He, he, he don't necessarily have to free the left leg to finish this, although obviously it helps. But you can still finish this with a, with a leg in. Yeah, especially if he turns his hips towards the head and he could start stepping over Mike's head. How tough is Medina, man? He's just trying <laughs> to way out of these holes. Now eating some punches from the bottom. Trying to throw his own, though. And uh, This is not generally advised to go around with that guillotine grip. Especially when your opponent can pass. They're on the cross side anyway, so that guillotine is not going to happen. Oh, and really great leg work to get around the guard. That was a beautiful pass to the other side. And Fernandez is looking. I bet he tries to mount here. Look for him to slide that right knee across the midsection. Although he sits the case of Gatami back to regular side control. Not sure what he's looking for here. He's going to step over into this. Uh, either it's going to be mounted crucifix or he's looking for the um, for a triangle. But he allows Medina to get up to his knees into Turtle. He's going to take the back. I was going to say, I don't like sliding that knee over like he did for that very oh, reason. Oh, and he's locking up this rear naked choke. Yeah, there's not going to be any fighting out of this, I don't think. Yeah, that's going to do it. And he gets the submission. Very nicely done. Fernandez forced to pull out all the stops and go for the rear naked choke. Finally got the tap. Much to the chagrin of Mike Medina. <laughs> well, the chokes, unfortunately, you, you can't just grit through. They, right. they will put you to sleep. Yeah, you don't have a lot of choice there. Yeah, there's no such thing as having a tough carotid artery. Your lights will just go out, and they nearly did. Fernandez coming away with that hard-earned victory. Didn't take a lot of damage, but certainly had his work cut out for him. You know, it, it was basically a testament to his conditioning. He was seeing some punches early on, too, in that first round. In the, in the opening of round one, he, he took some shots. But from then on, it was his world. But he was working. You know, it's not like one of those where you just take the guy down, mount, and submit. He had to transition and scramble, and Medina made him work. Here we go. This is a replay of some of the action here. This was from round number two. That was a hard shot, too, from there. And, and this, then, yeah, that back take. Oh. The second time he got to the back pretty easily. You see how he's just crawling that left hand over, finally able to connect the hand to the bicep, and that's going to be it. Once you get here, I mean, it's very, very difficult to get out. Yeah, with the gloves, I thought, because it's so hard to sneak the hand behind the head, which yeah. is what you really want to do as, as the person attacking. Um, I thought maybe Mike would have been able to grab the gloves and pull them down in front of his face and stop the choke, or at least temporarily stop it. Right. But um, it, it was pretty sunk in because he, he could not fight out of that one. No, I, I don't even think he attempted to reach for that top hand because it was so tight he just knew it, it was over. Definitely look forward to seeing more from Fernandez. That was very impressive. Oh, 
ladies and gentlemen, at one minute, 38 seconds of round number two, a referee in charge, Mike Beltran, stops the contest due to a tap out from a rear naked choke. Our winner in the blue corner, Junior E5 Fernandez! Junior Fernandez! How you feeling, brother? I'm a little bit tired, I'm not gonna lie. But, um, I want to pull your show for you, you know? It's your feet. I broke that through, but towards the end, you come out with the rear naked. You must feel good right now, brother. Oh, yeah, definitely. You know, that's what we train over at Checkmat, you know, and uh, the Doom Training Center. We're always looking for the finish, and uh, yeah. Now, we're going to check this replay out right here. Look at this. Talk is um, Yeah, man. Rear naked choke, textbook jiu-jitsu, you know, on the... On the way to the fight, I was telling people, you know, I got good striking. A lot of people that don't know me, um, I've been striking for a minute. Well, everyone knows me for my jiu-jitsu. But, uh, yeah, can I give a quick question? Now, would you like to give any shout-outs? Um, yeah, first and foremost, glory be to God. If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be living my dream. I can see some of my teammates down there. You know, check my prior Brazilian jiu-jitsu. Big up my coaches, Yannick, uh, the main man, Felipe Verdum, and uh, yeah, my sponsors, shout out to my sponsors, my strength and conditioning coach, Chase, I know he's watching back home, shout out to Coach OC, Ohana Turf Company, uh, Face the World LA as well, if it wasn't for my sponsors, I wouldn't be doing my thing as well, so, big up. One love, brother, make some noise for Junior Hernandez!